Good morning, water signs. Namaste. Um, so I decided to do readings this morning before I checked out and got back on the road. Okay, so this is you are next. Um, I was getting very, very um, a lot of downloads for air signs and water signs. I was up very late, and I want to say this: if you are deciding to read tarot, if you are deciding to um, going to an art where you have to sacrifice your energy, okay, um, just know that. A lot goes into this. A lot of energy goes into that. Okay, into this. Just, just be prepared to lose a lot of sleep. Okay, it's like if you are, if you have North Node or South Node in the serving houses, the twelfth house and the sixth house, and you are here to serve and to heal people, and you are here to be this light worker. Just know that you're going to have sleepless nights. Okay, you're going to know that you're going to have to sacrifice a lot of energy to this. Okay, just know that. All right, but. Um, I don't mind. I enjoy it. I, you know, even though <laughs> it is intense, it's intense, but, um, I'm, 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 I'm doing what I'm here to be doing and that's all I could do. Right? All right. So I can't complain. It's not good. It's not bad. It just, it is what it is. Right? Okay. So water, cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Okay. Um, Someone is, someone's coming your way, okay, um, this is so crazy because there's a triangle here, there's a, there's a circle of air sign, water sign, fire sign, okay, and there's a group of people leaving an earth sign for a water sign, but it's like a cycle, it's a cycle, it's like, it's like a water sign, you're with someone, and you have a karmic, and this karmic has like water and fire in their chart, and you have earth and air in your chart, but your 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 twin is with a karmic, and they have earth and water in their chart also, and you're with a karmic that has fire and, and air in their chart. Are you following me here, water sign? Please, I hope you can follow that. So this is a cycle, like you, you your twin and your karmic, they're, they're karmic, you guys are all in this like cyclic, like, I don't know. Um, but all of you have, your karmic and your twin, they have similar elements, okay? So you, could, you, you tend to get the energies confused, okay? You could be confused, okay? Your karmic could be confused. Your twin's karmic could be confused because somebody, somebody here is confused about who the twin is, who the karmic is, okay? Who's leaving who for who, Okay, there's a water sign. You are in this like entangled, like, yeah. There's a marriage. Someone here is married. Someone's waiting on someone to get divorced, okay? So that they can, they can be together, so that this person can leave this person to be with them. Um, the earth sign is getting left behind for the water sign, but it's like the karmic is leaving their earth sign for the twin water sign, but the water sign is leaving the karmic for their, their twin water. I don't know. Someone's leaving someone for someone, but it's not their true someone. Like, I don't know. Let's just let's just get it popping, water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. But I'm getting this huge circle of people, like a triangle. It's like an exchange of partners. Okay, I don't know. That's what I'm getting. Like, are you guys trading partners, trading places? Uh, polygamy, uh, multiple partners here, open relationship. But I'm getting like a lot of partners, a lot of decisions have to, having to be made. Okay, like someone's married and has multiple partners someone's outside the marriage like let's just see what's going on this is for the 31st know that the energy is fluid water sign so it could change okay um it could change um very rapidly actually okay so let's just see what's going on with you because information that i'm getting it's like it's a lot of going, it's a lot going on here um that's about to be a huge blow up something's about to blow up in somebody's face i don't know all right water Okay, so we have the Eight of Swords that wanted to come up in the reverse. So this is good energy. We're going to keep this in the reverse here. Okay, so something is about to blow up. <clears throat> this is someone that you're living with, Water Sign, because you feel very trapped in the situation, or you did. You felt trapped in the situation. You felt trapped out of, out of obligation. Okay, um, you could have had children with this person, or you could have been, um, this person could have been depending on you for your resources. Okay, this person's in the castle, so this is, someone here is very well to do, well off, established. Okay, somebody, <clears throat> excuse me, I didn't even, I didn't make tea this morning. I don't know why I didn't make tea. I should have made tea, guys. Um, as much talking as I do, I should have made tea. Anyhow, 
um, this person is somebody here is very well to do, very established, well off. Okay, but I feel like somebody somebody here feels opt somebody here feels like they have to be with someone out of obligation this could be someone you're married to like i feel like to somebody just somebody was at the point of like just wanting to jump out of the fucking window like somebody like was like i don't want to be here anymore i'm tired of this life i'm tired of this existence okay this is miserable but i feel like somebody's releasing this tension now it's like somebody's releasing that obligation okay because they realize that it's not my responsibility I can't make anyone happy, okay? I, you know, um, I feel like water sign, this could be you or someone you're dealing with. This could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This could be something you could have been with this person because you felt obligated. Maybe you had children with this person. Okay, you could have been, or you, or you could have been communicating with this person out of obligation, but I feel like you're releasing that energy now. You're, you're thinking like, you know what? I can't make anyone happy but myself. Um, this is also too, this, this is gonna be a water with air rising or air moon. Check your natal chart. Someone here a peeping Tom. Anyways, creepy. Um, I just had that came out of nowhere. It's very creepy. You have the emperor at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so like I'm saying, you could be releasing yourself from a. Uh, a divine counterpart here we have the emperor you cannot get any higher than that okay or you are the emperor you are the aries rising you're the aries moon okay water sign or you are dealing with an aries aries rising or aries moon okay and i feel like this is because we have the emperor here this is your divine counterpart but i feel like with this energy the eight of swords you're releasing yourself from this person you're releasing yourself from your divine counterpart i don't know why okay or you are you are releasing yourself from a husband this could be someone that you're married to this could be, i'm getting masculine energy here okay you could you could be the masculine or this could be your masculine you are releasing your masculine okay you're releasing your twin all right because um you're releasing you're, you're releasing the expectation attached to your twin i think okay or your twin is releasing the expectation attached to you somebody somebody is somebody is um Coming out of mental entrapment, which is great because the Eight of Swords is self-sabotaging energy. It's energy that it's all in your head. It's all it's, it's your imagination. It's your mind playing tricks on you. Okay, it's you telling yourself, "I'm not good enough. I'm not pretty enough. I can't get out. I can't do it on my own." Um, you know, I don't have the resources. I don't have the money. I don't have the mental faculties. It's bullshit. It's all the bullshit you tell yourself, water sign. Okay, and I feel like you're releasing this negative energy, though. You're releasing this obligation to whatever this is. This could be an obligation to a certain property, okay, a certain ge geographical area because he's in, this person is in a castle, so you could feel locked into a living situation. But I feel like you're freeing yourself from that, okay? But I feel like this could be, you could be, this could be a divine counterpart, okay? Or a spouse. But I feel like you're getting out of a situation here. Or this could be someone you're dealing with uh, releasing this energy, getting out of this, okay? You have the energy of the King of Swords in the reverse. This is going to be a, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius rising. Okay. I have two. I have two uh, swords here already. So um, I have nine swords, and they're both in the reverse. So yeah, somebody's somebody's releasing the tension attached to obligation, attached to expectation, um, attached to their uh, spouse or their twin. Um, Hold on one second, guys. I need water. <laughs> Sorry about that, water sign. <laughs> I need I needed water. Like, okay, so you can um. <laughs> Water slide, you could be having a conversation with someone and like someone has to like walk off to like catch their breath or get some water. Like I feel like someone too is not taking it not taking the situation serious. Like some I hear I hear someone like laughing. Someone's laughing. Okay, anyways, but I feel like this is I am getting air I'm I'm getting Aquarius rising. Someone who's very cold, very detached. This is also too um a divorcee. Someone getting divorced. 
So this could be you or someone you're dealing with. Uh, I'm getting, you could be dealing with an air sign that's divorced, okay? That's newly divorced, getting divorced, okay? Waiting to be divorced. I'm getting newly divorced here because um, the eight of swords, and then we have one more sword that he's holding, that's nine swords, okay? So what is not the nine of swords? It's stress, it's worry, it's anxiety, it's sleepless nights. Somebody is freeing themselves from a twin, from a divorce, from, from a relationship that was causing them to feel trapped, okay? This is also to somebody who feels like they can't speak up. They have to bite their tongue. They're walking on eggshells. All right, let's see what you have going on here, water sign. You have the nine of cups in the reverse. Be careful what you wish for, okay? Um, because the nine of cups water sign, this is a genie in a bottle. What did, what did you wish for? Okay, you got your wish, all right? Did you wish for somebody to get divorced? Did you wish for someone to break up with their spouse? Okay, I feel like you got what you wanted. Okay, or you are getting what you wanted and it's not going to be what you think. Okay, something that you wish for with this air sign. Um, okay, this could be, this is, some, this is someone with an air sign rising though. I'm getting double air too. Okay, um, you wish for something, you ask for something, which you received, okay? You could have been, you could have wished to be released from this person, okay? You could have been like up, like, you know, um, losing a lot of sleep over this person because you weren't communicating with this per person. You felt something, something about the relationship that you had with this person, it was a lot of obligation attached to it. You felt it was, you didn't feel like it was an auton autonomous decision. You felt forced, you felt bullied, you felt obligated, you felt weighed down, you felt rushed into it, you felt smothered, okay? So something about the situation, it just wasn't meshing well with you, so I feel like you wished it away. But now that it's gone, let's see. It's not what you thought, okay? We have the nine of cups in reverse, okay? Um, this could be too, somebody's watching you or you're watching someone here, water sign watching a situation unfold, okay? Um, but I feel like, too, somebody here, um, like somebody, I feel like, too, somebody here was giving you what you wanted, okay? Somebody here it could, could have given you stability, giving you money, giving you, like, you know, giving you some type of emotional fulfillment, some type of emotional happiness, because that's what you wanted. You wanted to feel emotional fulfilled. You wanted to feel happy again, okay? You wanted to, you wanted to get out of the stress. You wanted to get out of the self-sabotaging negative energy that you, you know, you wanted to get out of a staying up all night. Now, you wanted, you wanted loved. You wanted to be embraced. You wanted to be held, right? You wanted to, you wanted to get out of this cold, coldless, heartless energy, and you got that, but I feel like, it's not what you expected at all, okay? Let's keep going. Six of Pentacles. There's no equal. There's no. There's no mutual respect here. I feel like there's there's a lot of selfishness, okay? This, but this could be the situation that you have wished away here. Like you wished away this situation. It was very selfish. It was a lack of equal give and take. Um, you know, like I said, somebody here was giving out of obligation. All right, because they felt like they had to, but I feel like too somebody here is very selfish. So this could be someone you're dealing with, a very getting a very self, a very selfish energy. Okay, um, why is the king? Of, why is the king of swords here? Let's see, the four of swords. I'm getting a lot of swords. Okay, so we have five swords here coupled. We got the four of swords with the king with the king of swords in the reverse. So that's five swords. Uh, we have four here and the one that he's holding. That's five. Just sorry. I don't. I know you heard me. I just wanted to make sure you guys. That's clear to you guys. Okay, so um, I feel like now you're being able to rest easy. Okay, so like I'm getting somebody here. Some, some a divorce is final. Okay, so now somebody is somebody's able to rest. Somebody's able to you know um, you know gather their thoughts. Somebody's able. Somebody's in recovery about this. Somebody too could be in recovery from surgery. Okay, somebody's getting out of the hospital finally, but I feel like somebody here is finally able to rest. Somebody's in this very meditative state. Okay, thinking like you know. Um, thinking about their life, okay, just someone, someone, someone here is recent, someone here is newly divorced, newly, a, a divorce, this is a male energy though, okay, so I feel like you're able to sleep now, you're able to rest because it's over, it's done, okay, you're free from the tower, okay, you're free from this person's constraints, okay, this is a, this is a mental constraint, a mental prison, you're, you're in recovery now, you're able to meditate, you're able to rest, you feel so much better. You feel so relieved, okay? Um, because the situation is, un it's, it, you know, it's over. Something's coming to an end. Why is the Nine of Cups here in the reverse? Okay, the Three of three of Swords, okay. Um, 
I feel like you got what you wanted here. Somebody is getting divorced. So congratulations on that. If, you, if you're happy about getting a divorce, congratulations, okay? Um, that's your moral code, not mine. Okay, but someone here is, um, like I feel like someone wished, like you wished that the pain would go away, attached to an air sign, attached to a, um, attached to a relationship that was very rocky, very painful, very hurtful for you. Okay, pain that penetrated your heart long be long after the person was gone. This, the, the pain, it still hurts. It hurts, okay, still. Um, and I feel like it still hurts, Water Sign. I, like, I, I feel like you're still feeling pain about this person. I feel like you're, you're, but I feel like you're trying to wish the pain away. You're wishing, you're trying to wish it away here. Or you could have wished it away, all right? But I, I feel like I'm, with this with this nine of pentacles in reverse and this three of swords in reverse, this is also too you could this is a third party situation, all right. You could have thought a third party situation was your wish, but it just turned out to be a trap. Okay. You know, like some type of um, conquest, some type of uh, chase, some type of uh, selfish. Uh, endeavor this is something that's ego based and i feel like at one time you wish for this you wanted this person you or you wanted this to end but i see i feel like now that someone's suffering someone is not there's someone here that did not think it would be as painful as it is someone didn't think someone didn't think it would be this this much of a challenge okay but if water sign if you're dealing if you're dealing with a twin flame i'm going to tell you this you will never be able to release this person fully, okay? But I do feel like you could be, you, you could have new love coming in, okay? You could be dealing with <clears throat> someone who's waiting on a divorce, someone who's newly divorced, okay? So you could be dealing with someone that you have to be very patient with because this person could still be hurting, all right? So you have to just keep that in mind. If you are dealing with someone who's newly divorced or someone who's out of a fresh relationship, just remember that they could be having, ling they could have linger, they could have lingering feelings for their ex, or they could have, they could have lingering pain. So just be patient with them, okay? So just know that you might have to, you might have to deal with somebody's pain from a past heartache, or you might have to deal with your pain from a past heartache, okay? But um, I feel like you're releasing this energy here connected to uh, an air sign or, um, yeah, I'm getting a lot of air energy here, lots and lots of air or cups. Okay, somebody that once was your wish, this could be the case as well, this was once your wish here, this was your divine masculine, divine feminine, all right, and I feel like at one point you felt like you would never be able to get over this person, you could, you could not even see yourself being with anyone else, like you, like the thought of being with someone else or the, of the, or the thought of this other person being with someone else just like, it literally like, it made you cringe, it made you coward, it made you nauseous. But I feel like someone's been doing some magic here. Someone's been trying to wish this pain away. And I feel like someone's releasing this. This could be you or someone you're dealing with water sign. You choose the side that you're on, okay? Let's see, why is the Six of Pentacles here? The Four of Cups, okay? So I feel like this is a selfish pursuit. And I feel like it's it's getting boring. Or I feel like this, the, this pursuit is gonna get boring, okay? Um, someone here is, feels like um, they're you know, this is this to me the four the four of cups energy to me is um, this is someone who's very well to do, very established, but they're very unhappy. Like this is like unhappiness in the midst of success. Like you have everything, you have money, you you have um, all the amenities. Okay, you have um, the perfect job. You have um, you're beautiful. You have all these wonderful things. You have all these great attributes. At the same time, you're unhappy. You feel like life is just passing you by. You're bored. You're not interested. Okay, I feel like because this is a self, this was a selfish pursuit here. Okay, or this is something that you're trying to release yourself from because the situation that you you thought you know the situation was going to be good. Okay, you you were waiting for this person to get divorced, and I feel like now that it's happening or it's here now you feel like you want to release yourself from this okay you could have been in this person in this person's life just to free them from someone else or this person could be in your life to free you from someone else okay you choose what side you're on princess of pentacles okay so this could be a younger earth sign that you're freeing yourself from or this could be a job that you're freeing yourself from a living situation that you're freeing yourself from okay um or that you're wishing away here okay but i feel like you're in a situation where it started off good Okay, this could have been something that you, like, you could have actually wrote this down, wish for this, okay? You got what you wished for, but now you're bored. 
now you're back to thinking about yourself, okay? Priority, uh, self is priority one, okay? This could be two people, okay? But I feel like this is someone who is divorced. This could be someone you're dealing with, okay? Or this could be you are the sign. You are divorced from someone and you are dealing with someone else's is. But I feel like the new person, the third party, or the like the person you left your spouse for is like, I, this person is selfish. It's a lack of equal give and take. This person is not what you thought they were, okay? I feel like also, too, you feel like you made a mistake. Your clock is ticking. Um, somebody here is bored. I feel like the princess, this, is, this could be just like with a job. I feel like this is with an earth sign, though. This is a younger earth sign, okay? This could be so an earth, somebody, an air sign with an earth moon. Okay, so your guidance, your oracle guidance for today, uh, water sign is going to be dice gamble. Should I stay? Should I go? What happens if I stay? What happens if I go? Did I make the right choice? Did I make my, the right move? Is this the right person? You know what I mean? So this is what I feel like, yes, with the Eight of Swords, but you're, I feel like you're rolling the dice. Oh, we have on the bottom of the deck, you have precision. Okay, so water sign, you are seeing a lot of numbers, a lot of synchronicities. I feel like you are letting numbers guide you and i feel like too also some you could be dealing with someone who you could be dealing with like a numerologist go get your go get your um numerology chart read okay or find out what your life path number is okay you could be dealing with you could be getting this okay with this we have the numerology and the dice you could be seeing six six you could be seeing nine nine okay if you're seeing if you're seeing nine nine water time this means the ending of something Something is coming. Something is about to come to an end. If you see six six, someone from your past is coming back. You're about to be reunited with someone from your past. If you're seeing six six, if you're seeing five five five, you're about to be. You are up against challenges, obstacles. Something, something is coming. Something is coming toward towards you that's going to challenge you. That's going to be an obstacle. Okay. You're also too. You're crossing into. Di you're crossing into different timelines. When you see these numbers, you are. There's programming. You're you're re you're programming yourself when you see these numbers. But I feel like these numbers are connected to a person. Okay, um, I feel like someone here is waiting for a number sequence to free themselves. Okay, I feel like too, when you see when you see a certain number, that's your QQ. I'm getting six, six, six. Okay, or nine, nine. When you see nine, nine, it's your Q. When you when you see nine, nine, it's the end. Something is coming to. That's the death card and the tower card to me together. Okay, so something is ending. This could be self the self sabotaging energy. This could be with this. This could be a job, or this could be with this younger earth sign completely coming to an end. You wish this person away. Now check this person. Make sure you know this person's astrology because this could be somebody with earth sign moon as well, or this could be you water sign. You could have earth rising or what have you. But a situation is not what you thought, and you're freeing yourself. Okay, I feel like too you could have thought somebody was your twin. Or your soulmate, okay, or the love of your life, but I feel like it's not what you thought. All right, so you're rolling the dice. Also, too, play the buy a lottery ticket. Buy a lottery ticket, water sign, okay. You're lucky today, okay. So if you roll, if the, you have the luck of the dice, but I mean, you have to, you have to make a, a decision has to be made, and you know it. I feel like a decision already being made. This could be, this could be in regarding a divorce too. But numbers, you're seeing, you're seeing number sequences a lot. I'm getting nine nine and six six four 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 as well. If you're seeing six six, water sign, you're definitely this is definitely a lifetime for you to have your. This is definitely a lifetime where you're going to be with your twin flame. Okay, you are going to be married whether you like it or not. If you're seeing six six, when you when you think about your twin and you see six six, you're going to be reunited. Okay, that's an, um, or if you see nine nine, it's over with. It's kaput. It's a curtain. It's wrap. So it's a wrap. Okay. So depending on the number that you see, depending depending on how the numbers speak to you, water sign, the numbers are telling you something. All right, that's that's for you to figure out. Okay, so I hope this helps you, uh, water. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.